Hey everyone, what's up? This is Colin Teal for um, Daily Dose of Colin, Daily Vlogs for uh, Monday, October 8th, 2018. And seeing as how today is Columbus Day for the United States, don't know why we celebrate that. I'm going to tell you, Columbus, Christopher Columbus, the European explorer, was actually a murderer, a rapist, and basically the first terrorist of Central America and the natives that lived there. I believe I read um, that there is the Tanos, which were a tribe in the Caribbean in which Christopher Columbus sailed with his many men, soldiers. They stayed there and they ended up slaughtering the tribes, you know, raping the women, killing the men, sicking hounds on them and killing them in just brutal, tor uh, horrible ways. To the point where the Tanos tribe basically went extinct. And, you know, they died off and there was none left. And so, there's many other atrocities. You can look this up. It's, it's all basic, affirmed scientific knowledge, historical knowledge. Christopher Columbus was a murderer. He was, he was a terrorist. He was an evil man who doesn't deserve to be observed. Why do we observe it today? I don't know. But I will tell you about base you know some people have started calling today instead of Christopher Columbus Day no they opted for Indigenous Peoples Day and I favor that because not only did indigenous tribes such as the ones in America have extensive knowledge about cultivating crops you know and, and expert cultivation and expert survival skills they also had a lot of them had expert knowledge of the stars and of various other non-terrestrial celestial body things. Good example, the Dogen tribe. Now, some of you may know about the Dogen tribe, but for those of you who don't, excuse me, um, the Dogen are a tribe that lives in a desert, in a desert land of Mali, near the border with Burkina Faso. So they live near... They live in the desert lands of Mali in Africa. So now on to the extensive astronomical knowledge. And I am quoting from a site here, which I will include in the description so you can see where I get my sources. It says, um, but the, and I quote, But the thing that most struck the two scholars was the finding that despite the Dogen having come into contact with our civilization in fairly recent times, about the beginning of the century, they possessed incredible scientific and astronomical knowledge. Some of this knowledge was certainly the result of a cultural heritage that is millennia old, but one element in particular was decidedly, has decidedly current characteristics. The detailed knowledge of the star Sirius. The Dogen were in fact aware of the fact that Sirius is a binary star system. Binary system, actually i.e. a system consisting of two stars, Sirius A and Sirius B. They were aware of the fact that Sirius B revolves around Sirius A with an elliptical orbit and over a period corresponding to 50 years. And the most disconcerting discovery was that the Dogen knew the exact position of Sirius A within the eclipse. How did these tribes that were millennia old know this knowledge without astronomical instruments such as telescopes or satellites. I'm no conspiracy theorist, but I say maybe there is some otherworldly chance. That's always a possibility, but these Dogen, look it up, the Dogen have uh, extra uh, fine-pointed astronomical knowledge of Sirius A and Sirius B and their elliptical orbits and the time span it takes to revolve around them, which is 50 years. Not only did these tribes have astronom have knowledge of the stars way before we even knew about these stars, way before we had the knowledge of them, like I said, included before, they had expert knowledge of cultivation. They were in peace with their atmosphere, with their surrounding environment. They, they didn't take way too much, and in fact, some of the um, uh, American native tribes um, they were concerned with how they left the land for the next seven generations. So they were very conscientious of taking care of Mother Earth 
and they were very knowledgeable in what they knew. And therefore, I, I prefer to call it Indigenous Peoples Day. So my brothers and sisters, fellow viewers, happy Indigenous Peoples Day. And to all of my you know, fellow native people out there who have either ancestral or who actually live on reservations and tribes, I'm, I'm sorry that we celebrate Columbus Day. Trust me, I didn't pick it. I think it's terrible and evil as it is. He was an evil person as it is. But the main point is, happy Indigenous Peoples today. To all of my Native viewers, to all of the Native Americans, today you are honored. Today you are celebrated. Today I give my respect, my honor, my thanks, and my gratitude to you. And if any of my Native friends have... You know, have, have, if they, any of you have facts about ancient knowledge that, you know, ain't knowledge about cultivation, anything, and any knowledge about facts about the stars that you guys knew millennia before the Europeans knew about them, send a message in the comments. I would love to hear these interesting discussions. Let's get a discussion going, all right, my friends? So thank you very much for watching my... Monday, October 8th, 2018 vlog. Happy Indigenous Peoples Day. Bless all of you. May you all be happy and peaceful. And I will see you on Tuesday's vlog. Peace!